Hey, welcome back to another Morales video. My name is Bharat and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can fetch all the token pairs and liquidity data for any token on Solana. So let's get started. So I'm just going to start with a quick overview of Morales. And as you can see right here, Morales is the crypto data platform. So if you're a dev building any sorts of Web3 applications, Morales provides you with APIs, RPCs across token data, NFT data, DeFi data, DEX data, basically any kinds of Web3 data you need, you have a direct API that can give you all of that data. And basically using Morales, you can build all kinds of applications. You can build trading bots, you can build DeFi dashboards, you can build tax solutions, etc. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Morales API to fetch all the token pairs and liquidity for any token in Solana. So to get started, you can just click on login and that's going to take you to your Morales dashboard once you've logged in. And your Morales dashboard basically shows you everything you need for getting started. You can basically see the compute unit usage. You can see your API key. You can see links to our documentation, tutorials, etc. So you can just copy your API key and then click on this to open up our documentation. So once you're here, you can basically head to the Solana API section because that's going to contain what we are exploring for today. Once you have gone into the Solana API section, you can head into the token API and then click on get token pairs by address. And once you're here, you can basically see this is the API that we need. Uh, Solana gateway dot Morales slash token slash network slash address slash pairs. So these are the query params that we are basically putting. The path param contains the address of the token that you want to uh, fetch the token pairs for. Then you can pass limit or cursor. If the token has like a huge number of uh, pairs, then you would have to paginate between that. So that's why you have the limit and cursor as well. So before we get into trying this API out, I'm just going to show you uh, a popular DEX on Solana called Radium. And let's first try to understand what exactly are token pairs. So let me just open Radium. So as you can see right here, this is a popular exchange on Solana. And this basically lets users trade between uh, any two tokens. And uh, Radium basically works in a model called uh, Automated Market Maker model. I'm going to link another video in the description that goes over this particular model and how you can build a DEX. So you can follow that if you are interested. However, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fetch the liquidity pool data. So which what you see right here is actually all of the major pools on Solana. It's giving us the major pools, how much liquidity is present in the pool, what's the volume which was traded, the fees earned by the pool, etc. So if you want to try this out, all we need is just one token address. So if I hover above this, you can see it's displaying us the Solana token address and the USDD token address. So I copied the USDD token address and now I'm going to go into this and paste the USDD address right here. You would also have to paste your API key if you haven't done that already over here. So once you've done that, you'll see the code snippet is basically generated. And now we can actually try this out. I'm just going to copy the curl command and open up a new terminal window. So now let's actually try this API out. So Yep. So you can basically see the response. We get all this data in just one API call. So this is actually fetching us all of the token pairs for this USDD token across all the DEXs on Solana. So if you can see it right here, it's also our API response basically tells us each pair data and also tells us where this pair was obtained. So you can see that this pair was obtained from Radium CLMM. You can also see the exchange logo. You can see the pair address. You can see the paired label. So you can see this pair is actually between USDT and another token called MTK. Then you can see the USD price. And you can also see the USD price 24 hour percent change, which means like uh, how much has the percentage changed between yesterday and today. You can also change the, see the USD value percent change. So you have that here as well. And you can see how much liquidity is actually in this pool. So you can see the base token, code token. The base token over here is going to be USDD and the code token is going to be the MTK token. And for each token, you basically get all these details. You get the token address, you get the token name, you get the token symbol, you get the token logo, token decimal, 
and you also get the pair token type so the first token in the pool is always token 0 and the second one's token 1 so that's what you see right here and the total liquidity usd pool is always equal to the sum of the individual liquidities of both the tokens in the pool so this is how you can actually get this data in just one api call using uh, our token pairs api and if you actually go into a particular pool you're going to get all the stats of that pool as well so if you click on uh, this thing you can basically view the pool charts the volume how much liquidity has basically changed and all this data is basically uh, present for each of the uh, pools so this is how easily you can fetch the token pairs by address for a given api so i'm just going to show you the next api which is to get the aggregated token pair stats so aggregated token pair stats actually gives you the stats for this token across all the dexes so what data you get is actually you get how much liquidity is available let's say if we just take usdd token what's the total liquidity available across all the dexes on solana you get all of that you also get how many active pairs are supporting usdt and you can also see how many active dexes are supporting usdd as well so if you want to get all this data you can just take the usdd contract address and you can paste that right here and now let's actually copy this curl command so now that you have it here i'm just going to clear this and i'm going to paste and let's try this api out so here you go so you basically get the total liquidity in usd for the usdd token you basically get how many active pairs are trading usdt and then you can also see how many active dexes are supporting usdd so this is how easily you can fetch the token pair data and also the uh, token pair stats for any token on solana so if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you can stay tuned for all our further videos thank you